Hey, 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 it's Andy Hudson, and it's another episode of Incentive Concepts Live. Welcome to everybody. We are here and a, a, a beautiful Thursday, and we've got an amazing episode in front of us. As many of you know, we won an award from back in April when we had Broil King on the first time, and we're back for more. So we'd love to hear where you're watching from, your name, put it in the chat and uh, let us know where you're watching from. Well, hope, hopefully you're as excited as we are. Before we go too much further, let me welcome in our co-host here, Mr. Kevin Hagan. Kevin, you there? I'm here, Andy, how are you today? All right, I love it. We've all got our uh, NFL jerseys, uh, jerseys on. <laughs> there we go. Um, looking good. Kevin, can you introduce our guests today, please? I'd be thrilled to. I've got two very good friends, great business partners, and uh, some great chefs here to talk about tailgating, and they have experienced tailgating around the world. Uh, they've tailgated from Alabama to Germany to the outback of uh, Australia and, and beyond. So uh, my <laughs> pleasure to introduce Jason Radford and Ben Street with Burl King. Hey, what's right. going, everybody? How you doing, guys? Welcome back, doing Jay. Great. Welcome back, Jay, and, and welcome, Ben. We really appreciate you being here. Uh, you guys have tailgated all over the world, and you've done it together. So we're going to pretty much turn this over to you guys. And uh, we have we have high hopes. We know that you'll you'll make them. So Kevin and I are going to step aside. Uh, but before we do Perfect. that, viewers, we definitely want to hear your name, where you're viewing us from, and we've got the first question for today. All right, viewers. All right. Um, it's September. Sports are back. College football, NFL football, others. Um, if tailgating were allowed right now, where would you be having your tailgate, and what team would you be cheering for? Kevin, probably the Bears. Easy. Absolutely. In Chicago oh. against anybody with the Bears. All right. Good. And Jay, I think we know where you'd be tailgating. Yeah. Go Bills, buddy. Go Bills. And you know what? We actually have hope this year. So, uh, you know, it's really exciting around here in Buffalo. All right. Well, I'd be here in St. Louis with the old St. Louis Rams jersey here, courtesy of a, a friend of mine who let me borrow this one. Um, and then also after the show, we're trying this again this week. You can stick around and have a behind the scenes tour courtesy of Ben of the Broil King headquarters and showroom. So that'll be fantastic. And there'll also be members of our team there to, to interact with you guys one and one. So um, Jay, why don't you tell us a little bit about what home gating is all about? Talk about how popular it, is, it has become and then the floor is yours. Well, thank you again, Andy. And I'm really happy to do this again. Last time, uh, the weather did not cooperate and uh, it was actually snowing on me the last time we did this. So at least this time we've got some perfect weather. It's a little breezy, but uh, at least I'm warm and uh, in, in a short sleeve and enjoying the time. But uh, funny enough, I was watching the video from last time and uh, I remember uh, saying that, you know, hopefully in a couple of weeks we will be out of this. And, and here we are, you know, six months later and kind of still this thing is still uh kind of uh around us and it doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon but you know what it's been great for us people have been using their broking grills we're still manufacturing our grills here we're having a great time but what we want to get across to everybody today is just essentially all the great things that you can do using your grill at home creating that tailgate with your friends and family and the people that you feel safe around and still enjoying sports like we you know I was just talking to uh, one of our guys here, Chris, and I just said, you know what, I'm almost more looking forward to this season than the previous seasons, just because, you know, we've all been through so much over the last five to six months that this outlet of sport and getting together and, you know, even just cooking for 10 to 12 people instead of the 50 to 2,500 Ben and I are used to doing, um, you know, tips and tricks at home that you can just use your standard grills. If you've got a pellet smoker, great. You've got your charcoal, you've got... It's just the time to try everything and enjoy it. So basically, we're going to kick off today. What we want is we want to kind of tailgate two ways. So I brought my good buddy, Ben Street. Ben and I went to university together. We've gone through broking together. We have tailgated pretty much everywhere in the country from NASCAR races to football games to you name it. Buddy, we can't go to a tailgate. We can't go to a Talladega this year. And it's just, it, it, it's, it's hitting me right here and you're stuck in Canada. I'm in the U S but you know what? We can still have some fun and throw a tailgate. So we're going to do a tailgate two ways today. I'm kind of doing a bit of a quasi easy 
less than an hour, almost healthy tailgate because you know what? We can't go every weekend with brisket and pulled pork and all those uh, traditional ones. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of great tips and tricks with some a little bit healthier tailgating. We're not going to go too far with that, but it makes it look good. Um, and then Ben, I want to introduce Ben Street is the culinary director at Royal King, good buddy of mine, absolute ninja around the grills. And Ben is going to really dig in at the Royal King headquarters kitchen and show you guys some real tailgate stuff, the low and slow, the ribs, the sauces, the everything. So Ben, do you want to just introduce yourself quickly and then we'll, we'll do my tailgate and then we're going to pass it back on to you. Yeah, absolutely. So hi everybody, I'm Ben Street. Like Jason said, I'm the culinary director here at Broil King. My, my job is I cook and I write about cooking. Um, we're always trying to build a food culture around the Broil King Grill and that whole cooking product. So a lot of that is, well, food, all the great things you can do with it. All those wonderful experiences you can have at the grill and around the grill. So home gating, it's an easy natural extension. I mean, lots of people love to tailgate, but so many more people can do this at home. They can create that amazing tailgate-like meal, it's not that hard, in their own backyard. So what we're gonna show you today, like Jason said, he's gonna do the hot and fast items. I'm gonna do the low and slow, but none of the stuff we're showing you today is that hard to do. We're not trying to set the bar up here at chef level. We wanna make things that anyone can replicate at home. And these recipes will be available after, uh, easy to share with the group, so. We've got more to come. And, and, Andy will take care of you on the recipes. Uh, I know he's going to do a mailer or a posting with the Incentive Concepts website. A um, couple of things just before we get into the food. You know, we do have to talk about the great part about Royal King and how we've survived this pandemic and getting back into production and socially distancing our factories. Well, the one advantage that Royal King does have is we do have three factories here in North America. We are about 50% capacity right now. I just spoke with some of our production people. We will be ramping up to that 75 to 80% capacity in the next couple of weeks, um, as well as retrofitting our factories to keep everybody safe and all of our workers safe. Don't forget for the fall right now, grocery programs are absolutely exploding because everyone's shopping in grocery stores. Custom grills, do not forget about our custom program. We can logo the grills for you. Great for dealer loaders, burger companies, tailgating, whatever. If you're looking for that perfect prize for a grocery dealer loader or anything along those lines, don't forget about Broil King. We can get you the grill, we can logo it up. Um, and, and a lot of great things coming for 2021. On top of that, please reach out to, in about two to three weeks from now, please reach out to your Incentive Concepts rep. We're releasing our 2021 lineup. There's gonna be some great new product on there. A couple of uh, price point pellet grills under the crown pellet, which we'll be using today. It's kind of more of an entry level, um, entry to mid range, uh, opposed to the one I used last time, which was you know well into the thousand dollar plus range. Um, and, uh, you know, we're uh, also bringing out a whole new series within that's going to work perfect in our industry price point wise from, you know, four to seven hundred dollars. So there's going to be some great new things coming from Broking. Uh, your reps will have all that information in the next couple of weeks. Now, I've gotten that all out of the way. You guys don't care about that at this point. You're here to look at some recipes and learn a few things for the weekend. So we're going to start with the the first recipe I'm going with is a very, very easy one. This is one that I cook in almost every tailgate, and it actually originated from uh, Kevin and I sitting in Chicago at the Palmer House, which has got a restaurant called Miller's Pub. It was one of the oldest steakhouses in Chicago, and RIP, unfortunately, due to the COVID and the financial, the Palmer House and Miller's Pub is not going to make it. So this was almost like uh, a respect and memory of the Palmer House and Miller's Pub. They are famous for their sausage and peppers. And Kevin and I were eating them one day and he goes, man, I'd love to know how to make this. And I took about three bites and went, well, this is pretty easy to make and figured out the recipe. So today I've got uh, Chris uh, that works with us here at Braille King. Um, you got to take a look. This guy is definitely tailgate ready. Full Zuma pants, Buffalo Bills, looking good. So I actually have a cameraman this time. So Chris is going to grab the laptop. We're going to come on over to the new Regal 420 here. Unfortunately, our blue lights, you can't see them right now, but everybody always loves the blue lights on our Regal. A couple other nice features of the Regal is a rollout tank bracket. Everybody always hates trying to squeeze a tank in. This rolls right in nicely. Goes in, and then once again, the great look, big cup holders, ready to roll. But more importantly, a very easy recipe here. So essentially, all I've done is I've got my Lodge cast iron pan. I've cut up some onions and peppers put them into the pan, a little bit of salt and pepper. 
Watch how easy this recipe is. I'm going to take a stick of butter. I'm going to dump the butter in here. I'm going to take a little bit of white wine. I dump the white wine in there. I'm going to take some oregano. And this is the key. This is the part that just gives that diverse flavor that the steakhouse had was the oregano. You're going to take that. You're going to sprinkle some oregano in here. Dump that in there. You're going to stir this up and you're just going to let this simmer on your grill. While you're letting it simmer, you can have the direct heat under the onions and peppers, the indirect heat with the sausages on the outside, just basic Italian sausages. So what you're going to do here is you're just going to grill your sausages. You're going to slice them up. And by the magic of uh, a kitchen, Chris is going to come on over here. You've cut everything up. Um, Chris, we'll zoom in on these guys right here right now. And essentially by the time you're done, you have this amazing buttery flavorful onions and peppers. You grab a hoagie, everyone lines up with their, their buns and essentially you do this. So Kev, this is uh, in, the, in memory of Miller's Pub, tailgate stop. You can make huge batches of this, reheat it. The nice part of because of the wine and the butter, it essentially will stay hydrated for long periods of time and not allow the sausages to dry out. So extremely easy dish to do. Onions, peppers, sausage, butter, wine, and oregano. Can't get much easier than that. Um, very easy to do, and that can be done on any of your broken grills. You don't have to get creative with the pellet smoker. That's just basically onions and peppers. Moving over now to our crown pellet series, which is uh, you know more of our mid-range kind of affordable style uh, pellet smokers. We've done a couple of different other recipes right here. Very easy. Of course, I have to have chicken wings if we're in Buffalo. So we just let the chicken wings go low and slow. We're going to uh, essentially, you know, toss them in some wing sauce, which we've got over here heating up. Buffalo wing sauce. All it is is butter and hot sauce. Mix those together. That's what you've got. Back over here, we we're talking about slight healthy. So cedar plank salmon. Very, very easy to do. All you have to do is you take your board, you soak it for at least 30 minutes. Pat it lightly dry, but here's the key. Coat it with oil on both sides. And once you coat it on oil on both sides, that will actually block in the moisture into the board to keep it from lighting on fire. Because you obviously don't want to do that. So once again, we have stuffed peppers up here. Very easy. I cut them in half. I put a little um, garden cream cheese in the middle of it. Some uh, cheese on the top and just let them sit here. Here's a great little recipe here. I'm going to take one of these off the, the, the board here. I'm going to set this down. Here's another easy, you get your slider. Got your great slider right here. We're going to essentially, look at that, that's perfect. Hang on, it's like we know what we're doing. Um, I've got a little pesto mayo. I'm going to put that on the bottom of the bun. I'm going to take the salmon. I'm going to put that right onto the, bun, onto the uh, slider right here. We're going to put a little bit of arugula on top of that. Very, very simple. And now you've got your quasi healthy, you know, salmon slider for tailgate style. Very, very easy cedar plank for all, everyone that doesn't want the heavy beef and the barbecue and the beer, which I don't know why you would never want that, but uh, you add a little bit of coleslaw to the side of that and you've got a perfect tailgate little recipe right there. So once again, we've got some great products. The, the, the Regal's a fantastic grill all day long, cooked for, you know, two or 20 on the Regal. You've got your new Crown Series pellet grills. And that was the simple tailgate. Ben, over to you to show some real deal stuff. Wow, and yeah. Those, you know, those items, Jason, are perfect because they're, they're extra tasty. People are gonna love it. And one of the main things I like to tell anyone that, uh, that we're teaching to grill, people eat with their eyes first. You eat with your brain first. So it's the idea behind it. And you look at those items on the grill and they look delicious, they're easy to produce. And in the end, they're perfect. So a lot of it is that storytelling. Now, I did the low and slow stuff here in the Broil King kitchen. Uh, we got a bit bigger setup. So we've got two of our largest gas grills here in the kitchen itself. But then out on the deck, I've got four pellet grills. So we got a lot of space to choose from. Now, you don't need to have the biggest grill to produce great home gating food. Like even if you're cooking on one of our smaller monarchs, you still have tons of space to make great food. That crown pellet that Jason has has tons of space to make tons of great barbecue. I mean, you can cook an entire brisket on there and that'll feed a large group of people. So maybe let's start there. Start with the most exciting item. 
So Ben, but Ben, before you go too much further, I'm just going to break in here just to interrupt you for just a moment, if you don't mind, um, bring Kevin back on. We want to see if people, if people answered that question that we asked them here about where would there be their favorite place to home gate? We know Kevin's going to be soldier field. Uh, and we know uh, that, that Jay is going to be up there in Buffalo, but uh, we got any other questions there or comments, Kev? Well, Raul's right next to my side at Soldier's Field, so that's good. Uh, and it seems like everybody's in their home bases. So Jillian is going to want us to be in Seattle. Uh, Brett is Philadelphia Eagle fan, the Fly Eagles Fly, Jay. And uh, Mary Pat and Regina are for Chiefs. So right. uh, everybody's got their own little home places. I know that when I used to tailgate, it was always trying to cook something from the competitor's area, which was always fun to do. But I can't wait to see what's under that uh, uh, carpet paper there. That's going to yeah, be great. And, some, and, and somebody just put a comment in there that they want to tailgate in Maui. So uh, that's a little bit hoity-toity there. But okay, you can you can tailgate in Maui, I suppose. I think um, I'm in for that one. Andy, are, are you, uh, are you yeah. out there? Because that would be great. Is, that's uh, great. Is, that's Can great. Prove that because that would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, I doubt that. But uh, Bobby's Bobby would also go to the Vegas Raiders, of course, because she's from All Vegas. Right. But before we go too much further, we are giving away a nice uh, home gating uh, grilling set from Royal King. I got it right back here. We got a nice tool set, Baron tool set, a grilling apron, and a thermometer. So go over to incentiveconcept.com backslash home gate to enter for that. And then our second question while you guys are still watching, and then Ben, I promise we're going to get to you is what are some other ways that you can have fun with your home gate? You know, whether it's a game or some other activity, put that in the comments, Ben. Okay. The floor is yours. This is what I'm really excited about. You got something amazing to show us Sarah. Right? I'm, I'm glad you guys took the time to build up the anticipation on what's underneath this part. <laughs> okay. So, okay. The big item, the showpiece that we're doing because we're doing that low and slow Southern barbecue is that brisket. Now, brisket's one of those things that takes practice. And I often get asked, hey, what's your brisket recipe? Well, it's pretty simple. There's only two ingredients. I've got brisket and I've got steak spice. That's it. Now, the 18 to 20 hours that come after that, that's the part that takes time to learn and that you can't really just tell someone. They've got to kind of figure it out as they go. But a brisket is one of those items that you can cook overnight. So the items we've chosen here for low and slow, these are items that you can cook over a long period of time, like overnight and they're ready well before game time, or there's items that you can cook during or closer to. So this, this first one, this is gonna be 18 to 20 hours of cook time. I started this at seven o'clock last night. Uh, it finished up about an hour ago. When brisket's cooked properly, it's got that nice jiggle to it, a lot of great flavor, a lot of great smoke, and they can serve a lot of people. It's not a very expensive piece of meat. This is kind of one of those centerpieces, and this is one of those items that everybody loves. So brisket's good, but it takes a bit of practice. Now let's move on to Let's try some ribs. Oh. So in this heavy thing, I've got some of our Broil King Perfect Ribs. Now we use this rib roaster instead of foil because it basically, well, it's washable, it's reusable, and it does the same thing. You smoke the ribs for one hour in the smoke on our pellet grill, and then you toss them in here or into the foil and they end up nice and tender. They get that perfect bark on them and that's your perfect dry rib. Now after this, you can pull these things out and get some sauce onto them. And we'll get to the sauce last because that's our featured recipe for this segment. But basically, those are your simple ribs. Now ribs, if they're back ribs like this, they're about three hours worth of work. And if you do sides, they're about five hours worth of work. So you've got most of a day there of light work to get these things done. And there's not a lot of prep involved in ribs. You basically get them prepped, get them rubbed, get them in the smoke, and then they just take their time after that. Okay, let's move on to something extra easy. So we've got some baked beans here. Now baked beans are a tailgating favorite of mine because there's not a lot of ingredients to it and it's all basically canned. I mean, you take some of your favorite bean ingredients, a lot of molasses, a little bit of pancetta, and you just cook it all down with some poblano peppers and onions, and you end up with this thing that's nice and sticky and starchy. It's basically just two hours, maybe three hours in a, uh, in a big cast roasting pan. And you just cook them down until they're sticky and starchy, and they're the perfect side to that, those ribs and that brisket. Now let's do that sauce, because the sauce is a great example of storytelling. So this was our feature recipe that we made for this segment. This is a smoky maple, peach moonshine barbecue sauce. Sounds complicated, it's really not. 
Hey, moonshine. Hey, hey, buddy. Yeah. Why, why, why moonshine? <laughs> I figured it fits with the tailgating. I mean, I'm, I know that we've got other reasons that probably don't fit the PG warning, but uh, yeah, we've had some good experiences cooking with and possibly consuming too much moonshine. But uh, so this is this is your smoky maple peach moonshine barbecue sauce. Not a lot of ingredients. You've got your moonshine, your maple syrup. You've got some tomato paste in here, and peaches, and essentially you just cook it down. Mix it with your favorite barbecue rub. In this case, we're using our Royal King KC barbecue rub. Cook it down until it's nice and sticky, and then you can spread it on anything. So if you're going to put it on your ribs, great item to put on top of your ribs, and then serve it up. This is where I get to the storytelling part of it. With any of this home gating stuff that you're doing, that story that you put together for your guests is really what's going to get them hooked. So we put moonshine and barbecue sauce and we know the alcohol is going to get cooked off, but the idea of the moonshine in there, that's going to get your guest mouths watering right away. That's what gets them hooked. They get hooked on the idea of what you're cooking. And then before they even try anything, you've got them. They think it's the greatest thing ever and they haven't even tried it yet. Anything that you do in the backyard can be like that, whether it's the sausage and peppers, whether you're taking that brisket and spraying it down with some whiskey and honey, the idea of that just gets the wheels turning and it puts on that big show. You're there to celebrate hey. the big game, celebrate the big food game too. And buddy, you know what? That's why conveniently so many people always come and gravitate to when you and I are doing a tailgate. We have won barbecue competitions at Michigan NASCAR races when everyone thought, hey, there's these two young guys and all these guys and Bubba named Bubba are trying to give us a run and we whooped everybody. So uh, we've had a lot of fun over the years doing some home gating and tailgating and uh, hopefully we get back to that somewhat soon. And, uh, you know, here we go again. And uh, we want uh, you guys to stay around as long as you want. If you have questions on recipes or anything along those lines, uh, Ben and I are going to be hanging out. Once again, the tour of the Royal King Headquarters showroom is like, it's, it's amazing. Um, I miss it. Uh, and I'm really jealous of Ben in the middle of the winter when he can cook in there and I'm going to still be out back in the backyard. But uh, and, uh, Andy or Kevin, do you guys have anything else to add today? We wanted to just keep it very food forward and, and thank everybody for supporting Royal King throughout this entire time. And we look forward to a fantastic fall and some new product coming in. Yeah, for sure. And uh, and, and, and I, I don't know about uh, Kevin, but I sure am hungry. I, I had a pretty healthy lunch i must say but now i'm rethinking that i'm gonna have to try that that smoky maple peach pie moonshine recipe <laughs> okay. uh, and just a reminder for those of you watching we are going to put a, a summary of this episode and the links to the recipes everything that that ben has showed you today and the exclusive recipe for that sauce on our blog so incentiveconcepts.com backslash blog it'll probably be next week and we'll shoot it out to everybody as well um, Kevin, any comments coming in or questions? Uh, yeah, there was a couple of comments on some additional items that people bring to tailgates. Obviously, the uh, Viva Soul beanbag toss was a, a good suggestion. Uh, Bobby also mentioned the Mr. Barbecue fire pit. So have a nice little fire pit by the side. Uh, Mary Pat said a Bluetooth speaker from Bose. And of course, Brian Surratt from Bose agreed with that very strongly. <laughs> and uh, the suggestion to bring an S1 Pro speaker was also tossed out there, which I have done at a couple of tailgates uh, and taken over a couple of other people's music selections. So some good ideas there. Okay, awesome, awesome. And uh, like Jason just mentioned, and uh, Ben and Jason, myself, Kevin, and a couple of members from the Incentive Concepts team, are going to be over on this exact Zoom link. And I just put it in the chat. If you go to incentiveconcepts.com backslash Zoom dash September dash 24, um, you can come over and join us uh, right away, right after this. We're going to be do a behind the scenes tour of the Broil King showroom. Jason will be there if you want to share stories about the moonshine, maybe Jason, or jump <laughs> off a table or something. Yeah. Um, when, when we're not live anymore, when we're not live okay. anymore. And, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we we got to at least break one table. And, and, you know, <laughs> okay. So, so. All right. And then I can, I can share with people the story behind this jersey, which is actually a Fred Dreyer jersey, who, if you may know, he was Hunter, the actor Hunter, back from the 80s show, or the actor that played in the show Hunter. Um, from back in the 80s, and he was with the uh, St. Louis Rams uh, the late 70s into the 80s for about nine seasons. So um, I got my Rams jersey. Well, and Kevin's got his Chicago one. Okay, we're all having. Yeah, but nobody knows nobody knows Devin Hester very well. 
he was uh, back in back in 2007. He was he was the only person who ran a kickoff to the Super Bowl back for a touchdown. Well, there you go. Well, we we learned some recipes today and some trivia, <laughs> some football there trivia. Ben, Ben, what kind of jersey would you be wearing? You know, honestly, um, although I'm up here in Canada, Buffalo is my local team, man. It's not that far away. It's an hour and 45 minutes for me to get to Jason's house. Tailgate's not far from that. So Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well, guys, thank you very much. Um, make sure to go over to incentiveconcepts.com backslash home gate to enter for this package that's right behind me. Um, and then two weeks from today, we're doing these every other week now. We're bringing on our friends from Briggs and Riley. They're coming back. And we have the, uh, the, the marketing manager, um, uh, Mike DeMola, and we have a product designer named Haley Lawson. And they're going to talk about the sustainability efforts and environmentally conscious type efforts that Briggs and Riley are involved in right now to try to get that, uh, that environmental um, certification that they're, they're seeking for. So make sure to tune into that. Go over to incentiveconcepts.com backslash live to RSVP. Again, after the show, feel free to join us and we'll be having some one-on-one -on -one meetings. Uh, Kevin, anything else? No, great job, Ben and Jason. Appreciate everything you guys always do. And uh, I'm starving, so let's get this over with. All right. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Jay. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. And uh, once again, thank you for all your support of Royal Game. Okay. Take care, fellas.